Hello, uh, my name is Daria Shapovalova and I am a lecturer in Energy Law uh, at the School of Law here in Aberdeen. I am also the co-director of the Aberdeen University Centre for Energy Law and the champion for oil and gas in transition at the University's Centre for Energy Transition. The project that I'm currently working on is called Just Transitions in Scotland and in the Arctic. And transforming our energy systems is essential uh, for meeting our climate goals. Um, but sometimes low carbon energy projects such as renewables can have significant impacts um, on communities, um, on environment and wildlife as well. So uh, my project is looking at how uh, low carbon energy transition can be regulated and managed uh, in a way that does not cause um, unfair burdens on the environment and the communities. And these issues are very pertinent here in Scotland. Communities here in the North East have been dependent on oil and gas industry for decades and uh, this transition uh, to renewable energy sources does not come easy to anyone. In the Arctic these challenges can be amplified significantly because some communities are quite remote. Um, a lot of sites and habitats have very significant importance for local and indigenous communities. Um, and the effects of climate change are amplified in the Arctic as well. Um, so we are looking um, into seeing what the risks, opportunities and challenges are for regulating uh, just transition and seeing whether we can exchange some knowledge between Scotland and in the Arctic. Because for example, um, while Having renewable energy projects in some of the Arctic communities can be an answer to the community's energy insecurity where they could be otherwise dependent on diesel to produce electricity or supply heating. Um, in other cases, having a wind farm can really interfere with activities such as traditional reindeer husbandry um, by Sami communities in uh, Norway uh, or Finland or Sweden. Uh, so we're looking to see um, how just transition is managed and regulated in Scotland and in some of the Arctic states and see whether we can um, learn about how to do it better together. Um, we have a Aberdeen University Centre for Energy Law where we have wonderful colleagues who are working on many aspects of energy regulation including just transition. Um, on this project specifically, I'm working with Professor Tavis Potts, who is the Interim Director of the Centre for Energy Transition, and uh, he is in Geography, so that adds to the interdisciplinary um, nature of this project as well. Um, we have partners within Scotland and in the Arctic as well, so we have partners from the University of Edinburgh, we have um, partners from the University of Tromsø in Norway, University of Akureyri in Iceland, University of Greenland, University of uh, Victoria in Canada and University of Helsinki in Finland. Um, I'm really excited because it's a very diverse team that represents leading um, expertise on how communities can be involved in renewable energy projects, on energy law, environmental law um, and international law as well.